Hello, I'm Iswan. Today I'm going to show you something that I did. A plugin for voice attack. Someone asked me to do a spectrum analyzer. So this is what I came out with. Certainly, voice attack doesn't allow us to make any changes on what sound card they use. So I have to come out with another plugin which is using my old plugin the, the virtual assistant since virtual assistant is using windows basic text to speech feature i can make it to do this zira yes ads see that how the spectrum analyzer Visualizer only capture things that came out from the TTS engine. Time, please. The time now is 1348. It doesn't capture anything else, such as my voice or even any play, playing sound in the background. <laughs> Doesn't not, it doesn't anyhow affect the spectrum analyzer or whatever sound you get. Okay. Even if I play any games, which I certainly cannot <coughs> show to you since I'm only using one monitor right now. Okay, let's get on into the details. What did I do? This is actually a standalone program that taps in into a sound card. I'm using for now, what I'm using for now is the playback device. It's called a VB Audio Virtual Cable. It's a virtual sound card provided by VB Audio uh, website. Um, I will definitely link the description, link the website about VB Audio Visual Cable in the description below. Okay. How I configure my text to speech engine is by using that virtual cable input which is in the playback device listed and forward it to use this audio device cable input instead of the speakers itself I require this because it will intercept everything that come out from TTS from Windows TTS into the other sound card let's see how could I show you this? You have selected Microsoft Server Speech Text to Speech Voice, ENUS, Zero Pro, as the computer's default voice. Okay, now if you configure this as uh, one thing that would be a problem for you is that the sound doesn't come out. So, what did I do? Since cable output, cable input, and cable output by VB Audio Virtual Cable is a loopback device, you could actually listen to whatever playing in that sound card in that virtual sound card into another device in this case i'm using default playback device as the listener of that device so without this the sound don't, don't actually come out Okay, if I turn on the listen to this device, I could tap in the sound of whatever voice, ENUS, that Zero Pro, as the computer's default voice. Okay. So, what else do I need? One thing about voice attack, it, it doesn't allow you to tap into any of the sound features. 
the TTS that comes with voice attack, even though it's using the speech engine provided by Windows, is using the default playback device as the output. So how do I fix that by using my own VA assistant? As you can see, my VA assistant actually is an external plugin. A DLL that I compose that make use of the Windows text to speech function. Let me show you an example. This function random number requires the external plugin. But the plugin test that I made is using the TPS. So what is the difference? Now, let me show you. Plugin test. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Time, please. Right now it's 13.53. Any command that I use my own plugin will take the output of Microsoft TTS engine, which you can set in the control panel. But anything that I use the normal voice attack TTS will only go to speakers. This is a function that we cannot do anything with unless if the developer of voice attack could change the system then it will be very helpful okay so what does the spectrum analyzer does simply it just take all the sound from the TTS engine and make a spectrum analyzer out of it. Time please. Right now it's 1354. Plugin test. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Function that does not use the Microsoft ETS engine will not anyhow benefit from this spectrum visualizer. BB audio cable tapper for spectrum visualization. This is what I've done so far, though I don't think I'm gonna work on this anymore because uh, I might wait until voice attack have a few upgrades, maybe in the sense of selecting sound card which actually gives out the sound. I initialize the F mod library. By the way, this program use fmod library it's a sound library for windows it's, it's actually quite famous among game developers you get all the data just every time we get uh, the right tick count which means it's more than a few milliseconds that i have set it will display the data on the window itself so Hope this can help you in any ways. I provide the disk, uh, the link to all the uh, file source code and in the my YouTube video description. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Zira. Yes, ads. Thank the followers. Thank you, follower, for your support.